I'm Brian Stewart. Uh, I'm an economic advisor and economist in the research department here at the Philly Fed. Uh, my job focuses on understanding the economy. Part of that job involves providing briefings to bank leadership in the research department on issues around economic inequality and economic mobility. So one of the projects I'm most excited about right now uh, is called the Survey of Economic Mobility. So this is a joint effort between the research department and then community development and regional outreach where we've basically developed a new data infrastructure to allow us to understand a lot of new things about issues around economic mobility. Uh, what we've done so far is to recruit Philadelphia residents to participate in this survey, and folks are telling us what's going on in their lives, what changes they've experienced, whether they're looking for work, how much they're earning, the challenges and opportunities that they're facing. And what's so exciting about this is that by seeing the changes in people's lives on a monthly basis, we're going to have really, I think, unprecedented information about the challenges that people face and also how those challenges and opportunities translate into differences in their well-being. I would say m my work is broad. I would say uh, my work tries to be careful uh, and then, you know, hopefully interesting as well. I remember being back in grad school in Michigan and we would spend time in Detroit and some of the communities around it. Uh, and you look around those communities and it's just clear that the consequences of, of deindustrialization and job loss in the previous decades had a lasting impact on those communities and on the people that live there. And so for me that really led to a personal motivation of wanting to understand the consequences of changes in job growth or job declines in local areas, what it meant for the people that were living there, for the children growing up in those communities, and ultimately how those areas uh, recovered. When I think about kind of my career and the things that I value, it's not winning awards or winning grants or getting papers published. Th those are not really the things that kind of stick out to me. It's instead just the thing I really value is the day-to-day, -day, being able to do research, being able to ask and answer questions, and doing that with co-authors and colleagues that I enjoy working with. I had really high expectations when I joined the bank. I expected this would be an excellent environment to do research. Uh, and those expectations have definitely been met. This is a great place to work. I've really been impressed at the people in the bank and the seriousness with which everybody is kind of committed to their work. You know, before I came to the Fed, I don't think I had like a really deep appreciation for what culture meant within an organization. It's been clear to me across a lot of departments here at the bank uh, that we have a distinct culture and that that culture is centered around building each other up and focusing on doing good, serious work.